In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to create a custom arcade expression and then apply that uh, to some of the content that you can uh, produce in a custom pop-up uh, window. So we're going to be using a land parcel layer to do this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open the attribute table by right-clicking on the layer and selecting attribute table. And what I want you to pay attention to is this owner name field. So the owner name field contains uh, the ownership information for each of the land parcels in that layer but you'll notice that um, all of our data is in uppercase and um, so arcade can be used for many different things uh, in ArcGIS Pro including custom symbology, custom labeling, uh, field calculation as well as uh, custom pop-up content and so for this simple example and we are keeping it pretty simple here uh, what we want to do is we want to use arcade uh, to do uh, what we call proper casing on the owner name field so essentially we're going to transform that from all uppercase letters to proper casing where the first letter uh, of each word is going to be capitalized and all the other uh, letters will be lowercase. So that's what we're going to do uh, with this arcade expression. So we'll go ahead and close the attribute window here. Now I'll go into the configuration uh, for my custom pop-up window. I'll right click on land parcel, select configure pop-ups. And of course with the configure pop-ups uh, pane you have multiple content types that you can add to your custom pop-up window including text, fields, images, charts, and carousels. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom there's also a button here for expressions which is what we're going to be doing uh, in this uh, particular demonstration where we're going to create an arcade expression. Uh, once you've created an arcade expression they can then be applied to different types of content uh, including uh, text, fields, and charts. First thing we need to do though is to create the actual expression. So I'll click on the expressions button and that brings me to the, uh, the expressions window for the configure pop-ups pane. Right now I don't have any expressions so we'll click the new button to create a new expression. That kicks off the expression builder. All right, so several things to note here. Of course, arcade is gonna be the language that we're using. Uh, it's gonna define a, a default name and title. We're gonna come back to this in just a few moments. Uh, but what we want to do here, again, is we want to take that owner name field and we want to convert it from all uppercase to proper case. Now, on the right-hand side are a list of functions. These are arcade functions that you can apply. So these functions can be used to manipulate your data in different ways. There are functions for manipulating numeric data, text data, uh, date and time information, uh, geospatial information. So there's lots of different functions here that you can use to manipulate your data in different ways. Now I'm going to filter the data so that we only see functions that are uh, text uh, functions. Uh, so these are going to be functions that operate against textual data. And that's what the owner name field is. It's a, it's a text data type column. So I'm going to filter this by text functions so that all I see are functions relating to manipulating text. Uh, now from here what I'll do is I'm going to find the proper function. And the proper function, right, what it will do is simply convert uh, your, your data, um, your textual data, in this case from all uppercase to a proper casing format. From here, uh, I need to insert the owner name field, so I'll double click on that. You'll notice I put it inside the parentheses, so what I get here is dollar sign feature dot owner name. Dollar sign feature is a global variable in Arcade uh, that references attribute information, in this case the owner name field. So what this is going to do, uh, it's a very simple example, but it's simply going to for each uh, feature and taking the owner name um, information uh, that's uh, associated with that feature, we're gonna convert that to proper case. Uh, from here, I'll verify that the expression is valid and I don't have any syntax errors. Looks like everything's good. Now, the other thing I wanna do here is I wanna rename the default name and title. So the title, I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna call that owner, we'll just call it owner name. And for the name, we'll also call it owner name. Hit OK. And you're going to see why this is important here in just a few minutes. So we'll hit OK. That adds our new expression uh, to the list of expressions. Uh, if you need to go back and alter that expression, you can click the Edit button. You can delete it. Of course, you can create new expressions as well. Click the Back button at this point. Now, at this point, I have my expression, but I haven't applied it uh, anywhere at this point. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to alter my fields. I'm going to, by default, it's going to display all the fields, um, all the visible fields and uh, any, any arcade expressions that you've defined. So if you kind of scroll through this, 
Uh, you can see down here at the very bottom, it's hard to see because it's grayed out, but it says owner name. That's the custom expression that I created. But what I want to do is I want to limit this a little bit. So I'm going to check this off, turn everything off, and now I'm going to add property. I just want to specify a specific set of fields rather than showing everything. So in this case, maybe I want the property ID. Um, what else here? Maybe legal description value information land value improvement value market value maybe the situs address uh, and down at the bottom of course i have owner name that's the custom expression that i created and you can also change the ordering of these elements simply by dragging and dropping so you know, i'm going to pick this up and i'm going to drag it uh, back to the top and just put it right under the property id notification so what this is going to do is now i'm limiting the fields that i'm going to display on my identify to only the fields that you see here. And one of those fields is gonna be that custom expression, which takes the owner name information uh, and converts it to proper case. And then we're gonna leave owner, the original owner name turned off. All right, so that's all I really need to do here. Uh, to commit the changes, I will click the back button. Now you see I only have seven fields that are displayed. And now at this point, if I do an identify, the results of that custom arcade expression should become apparent. So I'll click on a parcel. And now you'll notice that uh, in addition to all the other fields that I specified, I also have this owner name field. Right? Owner name field, that's the custom arcade expression that I developed. And uh, you'll see that I've converted the information from all uppercase to proper case, where the first letter uh, of each name is capitalized, but the rest of the letters are gonna be in lowercase. Now you'll also notice that it uh, took the owner name, <clears throat> rather than, than just simply saying custom expression, it now says owner name. Um, that is a result of, uh, for example, going back to uh, the expression itself. That's what we put here for the title. So that title is what shows up on the, uh, uh, essentially as the column name. Uh, it's almost like a field alias, uh, so to speak. So, so that's the title. And keep in mind, of course, you can reorder uh, your fields just by dragging and dropping in the field list. Right? Any of these values can be dragged and dropped to, to different locations. And, um, you know, because by default, your RK expressions are going to be at the very bottom uh, of your list of fields. And, and you often want to move them to different locations. So that's uh, why I kind of wanted to point that out. You, you certainly can uh, drag and drop your custom RK expressions to a different location in uh, the display of your fields. And again, so once you identify it, your custom RK expression uh, shows up close to the top here. We put it under property ID. All right, that's all, all I needed to show you for now. Uh, thanks. Thank you.